Contrary to popular belief, Steam is not the only storefront available for PC players. There are a number of people that have games on other storefronts, whether or not they're exclusive to those storefronts, or perhaps maybe they got freebies on a different storefront. Who am I to deny them? Welcome back to the Steam Deck Masterclass, Volume 8. You know, it's been a while since we've had one of these Steam Deck Masterclasses, so let's refresh the users on what the Steam Deck Masterclass is. This is a series of videos designed to help the new Steam Deck owner, or perhaps the unknowledgeable Steam Deck owner, a definitive guide on some of the most popular topics on Steam Deck. I've got plenty of other videos talking about Steam Deck basics, emulation, or perhaps modding on Steam Deck. So if you want to check that out, check out the entire Steam Deck Masterclass playlist. And if you do end up liking this video, or perhaps the entire Masterclass series, please give this video a like, subscribe to this channel, and spread the good gospel of high-tech lowlife to all of your friends. This greatly benefits me in the YouTube algorithm, and it lets me know that I'm doing well. So yes, there are plenty of non-Steam games out there. While Steam is the biggest PC storefront out there, there are a ton of games that just aren't on Steam. Whether or not they're older Abandonware titles, or smaller indie titles that never really got released, fan games, storefront exclusives that aren't on Steam, and perhaps maybe, just maybe, you have a bunch of Epic Games freebies. Most of the installing and all of that stuff will happen in desktop mode. As per usual, to access desktop mode, you need to go into the power menu and press switch to desktop. In this section, we're going to knock out three separate launchers at the same time. Two of the most popular launchers on PC you know, aside from Steam, are both the Epic Game Store and GOG. The Epic Game Store is basically just Steam, but worse, but sometimes has free games. Sometimes. And GOG has DRM-free titles, which of course means there's no real issues with, say, taking these games offline, or perhaps reinstalling them as many times as necessary. That's why we're getting the Heroic Games Launcher. The Hero Games Launcher covers both GOG and Epic Games, and I guess Amazon Games as well, but I don't really know anyone that uses Amazon Games willingly. The easiest way to get the Hero Games Launcher is to launch Discover, and search up Hero Games Launcher, and then press Install. The Steam Deck should be installing the Hero Games Launcher as we speak. So once you launch the Hero Games Launcher, you'll just need to log into your various accounts. Don't worry, it's safe, you still have to validate it through the official Epic Games Store or GOG or Amazon websites, so it should be safe. And there you go, you have access to all of your Hero Game Store uh, games, so to speak. Your entire Epic, GOG, and Amazon library all at your fingertips. There is one issue you will have to resolve immediately. You will have to go into your game defaults and change the game default from Proton Experimental to, I don't know, Proton 8.0? or Proton GE, or you can choose to install Wine GE. More on Wine GE later. Installing a game is super simple too. All you have to do is go into a games page and then press the install button. And now by default, the Hero Games Launcher detects if you have an SD card plugged in, which means yes, you can choose to install games on your micro SD card if so desired. The launcher also gives you the ability to put your compatibility files basically wherever you'd like. For the Hero Games Launcher and basically any launcher that's outside of Steam, it's recommended that you run games through Wine GE. You can run these games through Proton or Proton GE if you'd like, but those are mostly recommended for Steam games specifically. And I don't mean games that are running through the Steam interface, I mean like legitimate Steam copies. WineGE is supposed to be more suitable for games that aren't like Steam games basically. And yes, any game you install through the Hero Games Launcher can be added through Steam by going into the games page and then clicking on the settings button, and then you'll want to press the add to Steam button. After restarting your Steam Deck, it'll show up in game mode under non-Steam games. Heroic also has the ability to automatically add games to your Steam library when installed. Doing this is super easy. All you have to do is go into your settings and find the option that says add games to Steam automatically and press the check Mark. Now when a game is installed through the Hero Games Launcher, it automatically adds the shortcut to Steam. And of course, if you have native Linux games on say GOG, you don't have to worry about prefixes at all, it'll just run natively. Do know that Epic Games does not provide Linux versions of games you may own. Like Celeste has a native Linux version on Steam and GOG but not on Epic. So that about covers it for both GOG, Epic, 
and oh yeah, I can't forget about Amazon as well. But believe it or not, there are more launchers than just those. You've got Battle.net or the Ubisoft launcher or the EA launcher and some other stuff as well. For all of those, there are multiple different options, but probably the easiest way to install all of those other launchers is by using something called non-Steam launchers. It aspires to be an installation script much like Emudeck, but for non-Steam games. You download the script from GitHub, you run the script, and you choose to install what launchers you'd like. Yes, you also have the option of downloading and installing the Epic Games launcher, or GOG Galaxy, or the Amazon launcher here as well. But for those three, I prefer using the Hero Game launcher. But for everything else, this is a solid way to go about it. The install process is so self-explanatory that you almost don't need a tutorial. Non-Steam Launchers even has a feature known as NSL Game Scanner. Any games you install through these launchers specifically will be automatically added to Steam. You don't really need a tutorial for this, all you have to do is follow the instructions on your screen. You could also install the itch.io launcher, but the itch.io launcher has a native Linux version, and this seems to install Windows version of launchers, so we're not going to worry about installing itch.io through the non-Steam launchers application. But let's say you don't like the non-Steam games launcher, or perhaps you want more control over your prefixes for all of the other launchers. That's where Lutris comes in, but Lutris is a bit of a different beast. And in the interest of time and making a more cohesive Lutris video, that will have to be a separate video. If I had to be honest with you, I can't think of very many major launchers that I have to cover, but if I do think of any in the future, then I'll be sure to let you know. And yes, I know some people are going to ask me if the Hero Games launcher or even non-Steam launchers can be used to launch Fortnite on your Steam Deck. The answer to that, of course, being no. And this applies to any other games that have anti-cheat issues that aren't necessarily on Steam. The developers of those games would need to ultimately enable Linux support in their anti-cheat, and that's only if it's a thing in their anti-cheat. So there you go you have access to not only your Steam games, but also any other game that may not necessarily be on Steam. Or more realistically, all of those freebie epic games you've been claiming. You can finally start playing them. If you like this video, please press the like button and check out our other videos. And if you like those other videos as well, be sure to press the subscribe button and share the good gospel of high-tech lowlife with your friends. Furthermore, we have a community discord for enlightened individuals such as you. And if you wish to further support high-tech lowlife, be sure to check out our Patreon page. Links in the description.